me, Anya. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video was inspired by Haley in Bookland, who's one of my favorite booktubers. I know I always talk about her because she's just so, so wonderful. And a few weeks ago now, she did a video called New Releases That I Can't Wait For, which I'll leave in the description below. And I decided to jump on the bandwagon and do this video too. So, yay! Like she said, this video is all about these new releases that I just can't wait for. I'm so, so excited for them to come out. I know I did, already did a video like this about two months ago about my most anticipated 2020 releases, which I'll also leave in the description below. And those books are at the top of this list. And these books are like second place. So anyway, the first book on this list is called Five Things About Ava Andrews. And this comes out the 9th of June. And it's written by Margaret Dillaway, who wrote Summer of a Thousand Pies. And I really like that book. So I have kind of high expectations for this one. And this follows Ava Andrews, who has two invisible disabilities. Anxiety and a heart condition. And she's just really shy, and she doesn't have a lot of friends. And everybody thinks that she's really stuck up, because she doesn't talk. And except for her best friend, Zelly. Except when Zelly moves across town, Ava wants a new, fresh start. So she starts middle school, and that's the jumping off point. I'm really excited for this book, because A, like I mentioned, I really like Summer of a Thousand Pies. And B, I really like that the representation of like the quiet, introverted young girl in middle school because that's how I was when I was that age so I really like you know reading about people that will slash all like me and I'm just really excited for this book and I hope I just hope that it's really really good so yes the next book is a sequel and it is truth life written by Jay Kristoff this is the conclusion to the lifelike trilogy and I am so so excited for it this book comes out the 30th of June, and I'm just so, so, so excited. The first book in this trilogy is called Lifelike. The second book is Deviant. I read Lifelike, and I rated it three and a half stars. I rated Deviant four stars. So really, I'm just expecting this last book to be better than the previous ones. Like, the second one was better than the first one. And I'm just so, so, so excited. Like, Jay Kristoff is such a great author, and he just... I feel like so many different directions like you could take this last one and I'm so so excited because I have no idea what to expect. This is kind of like science fiction, dystopian type of book. I just feel just so much potential with these characters in this world and I'm just so excited to dive right back into it. And I'm just so excited. Oh my goodness, I don't want to say what it's about because like obviously it's the conclusion. So what I say could spoil the first two books, but it's just, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Please read the first two books, they're just so, so good. I am so, so excited for this book. I've said that about 5,000 times now. This next book is called I Kissed Alice, Alice written by Anna Bolch. This is coming out the, 20th, the 28th of July, and it's a YA contemporary book about two girls who are rivals in real life but they're friends online. They're rivals in real life because they're both competing for the same spot at this prestigious art school. And I'm so excited for this book. So excited. It sounds so cute and so adorable. And like, I just, I'm looking forward to this book because I'm, I have a feeling that it will be similar to Girl Crush, which I read in like a recent, recent reads video, like, I don't know, a month ago or something. So I'm expecting this book to be so adorable. I'm here for a cute, romantic, contemporary book. And oh my gosh, I'm just so excited for this because it just sounds so, so good. Oh my gosh. Like if I'm disappointed by this book, I'll be so disappointed. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so excited. Can't you tell? I'm so, so excited. The next book is called The Notorious Bull Shoes written by Alwyn Hamilton. This is a YA fantasy, comes out the 18th of August. It's about like a glamorous media darling, a surprise heiress, and the magical competition of a lifetime. I'm not really sure what that all means, but I'm really excited for this book because this author, I love her books. She wrote the very underrated Rebel of the Sands trilogy, and I'm just 
so excited to read something else by Hall. Like, I love YA fantasy so, so much. And I have no idea, like, what to expect. Like, that premise tells me absolutely nothing. But I'm excited to find out, like, what that all means. I also really enjoy, like, competition books. Especially in fantasy. Because, like, I love rooting for, like, both sides. And I think that this is, like, a dual perspective story. So, like, I'm excited to see, like, who wins and who doesn't win. And, like, what happens, like, to the loser and to the winner. And I think this is the first book in probably a trilogy. So I'm just so excited to see what happens and what's going on and, like, all that stuff. I'm just so excited. Oh, my gosh. I'm just so excited. The next book on this list is called Soul Swift, written by Megan Bannon. This is a dark epic fantasy about a girl who must reevaluate everything she knows after she is hunted, after she is betrayed and hunted by the religion who raised her. I am so excited for this book because Megan Bannon is the author of The Bold and the Blade, which is such an underrated fantasy standalone, and it, it was so, so, so good. It's just so, so good. So I'm expecting Soul Swift to be it just as good, and I just, that just sounds so exciting. The premise sounds so, so, so cool. Like, I'm so interested and intrigued by, like, why did they betray her, and why are they hunting her if they raised her, like, What's the deal you there? I'm just so excited. Oh my gosh. Like, I have no idea what to expect. My expectations are just, like, so high. And I just really hope that this is another book that if it disappoints me, I'll be really disappointed. But, like, I'm just so, so, so excited. Ah, I'm so, so excited. The last book on the list is called A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow when by Walla Taylor Nanny. This book comes out the 6th of October. I'm so excited for this book because it's about a girl who unexpectedly finds love and herself in a small English town. And I don't really know what to expect, but I'm expecting it to be really cute. Really, um, just really cute and romantic and adorable and all that stuff. Because I read Lola Taylor's Naomi's previous book, The Library of Lost Things, and that book is so so underrated and it slaps so so hard so i'm expecting this book to slap as well if not hopefully slap a little harder i just have such high expectations like i'm just so excited oh my gosh i just i just really want this to be a really cute adorable book i haven't really heard a lot of people talk about this i heard stories for coffee aka liv talk about this because she's excited for the cuban representation which is great too, but I'm just so, so excited and I hope this book exceeds all my expectations and more and I want you guys to be excited too because this also is so underrated and more people should read her books. So, like I've mentioned about 6,000 times throughout this video, I'm so excited for these books to come out. The release dates that I mentioned, I found on Goodreads and I've heard a couple of rumors that release dates might be pushed back due to quarantine and isolation, which frankly, I don't really understand why, because like I've been utilizing my library and Libby is such an underrated app and you should get it because like all you do is register with your library and you can read books like on the app or through your Kindle or something. I use my Kindle a lot. That's how I've been getting books. So yeah, anywho. The reason why I said that is because these release dates may change, but I hope they don't. So, anywho, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what new releases you're looking forward to, see if we have any ones in common. I realize that a lot of these books that I'm, I'm looking forward to are really underrated, so I feel like most people have never heard of them. But yeah, I'm just really excited for all of these books. Um, looking forward to new re releases really motivates me. So, yes, I hope that this video is, like, a space of motivation for you as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, like I said, any new releases you're looking forward to. Subscribe to my channel for more. I'm uploading videos Thursdays and Saturdays. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.